Let's see if I can break in to one or two of these houses real quick. Shall you join me? Let's go open this one. Mine, that's mine. That's mine right there. Let's go in this one here that they did some painting and they're almost done doing things. I don't know. And this is basically the mountain view that we have. When we look at the right side, like to the right from my house, that's what we'll see. And this is the mountain view that we'll see. We come out our front door. So this is where water goes when it's raining out. So it's raining real hard. Our house is up the street, which is on a little bit of a hill. So this is all coming down and in here. It's pouring rain right now. Porn. So this is the cement being poured on our foundation right now. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Thank God. It's such a blessing. Things are looking good. They're doing excellent work also. Excellent work. Foundation now. Framework and structure coming next.
So this is the home now as of December 13th, 2019. This is the progress. It's been a lot of activity on our block now because it used to be nothing out here. So in the last two weeks, they did a lot of framing They have done a lot of working on everything. Two weeks ago, none of these houses were up. As far as the frame ones. And coincidentally, on both sides of our house, there are, no one has purchased a lot yet. So we can't, we don't have next door neighbors yet. Let's go take a look at the inside. So far we did the walk-in inspection on the framework, which everything turned out pretty good. They had to do a few changes of some different pieces of wood that I see that they did the upgrades already. They replaced things already. This gas line right here, they said they're supposed to move this over away from the electrical box. So they're going to do a little different rerouting of that. This is where the hot water tank goes. This is the soft water system right here. Because Arizona has some very hard water. And this is going in from the garage. This is the laundry room right here. This is the third bathroom right here. Or I should say one of the three bathrooms. This is the fourth bedroom. Small little closet. So this is the entryway. Let's see. This is how we come out the front door. Front covered porch or patio, whatever you want to call it. If you go to the left, there is the bedroom number two. We just saw bedroom number four. This is number two, walk-in closet. This is what you call a teen, teen suite. Basically like the little family room, two windows. Got the cable connection. 
put a little small refrigerator here, a couple of cabinets. Got bathroom number two with a double vanity. Double vanity right there. Light switches. Fall bath. Tub, shower. Hall nine. Come out of there. You have bedroom number three. Big window. Closet area. And I'm gonna, all right, so let me walk back out through this way. So as we're walking through, remember this is from the front entrance all the way through here. You walk through and they call this the great room. Let's see, there we go. This is the great room. Oh, I gotta get the phone, y'all. To be continued, getting the phone call. So to be continued, so this is as you walk through the front door, down the hallway, past the room that we saw already, continuing back with the tour of the great room. So this is the great room, sliding back door, a couple of windows. This is the dining room area. And the reason why I'm also doing this film, because I wanna make sure that I have pictures or some footage of how the wiring and plumbing goes. Just for the structure just in case we do any type of upgrading. So this is gonna also, this is gonna be the pantry right here. Pantry space. Then we got the island for the kitchen. can be right here at the island and looking over through the living room and dining room area. This is where the electric stove range is gonna be. This is the HVAC system up here that is done throughout the whole place. Keep it nice and cool or nice and heated. Then we walk back here to the master bedroom and as you guys can see I'm standing in the master bedroom and you see the cars going past I'm gonna put it at my eye level right here let's see if some cars go past here comes one yeah, the car's going past. I mean, I wish that we had more of a higher fence back here. The cable line, 
right there for TV. Yeah, I wish we had more. This is also the phone line in the corner right here. Then you walk into the throne, AKA toilet, the linen closet, and then the shower and tub in the master bath with opposite side vanities so we can each have our own personal side where we won't have to be bumping into each other and or anything so they just finally this is the last thing they put in was the tub And then this is the walk-in closet. Oh, that's the walk-in closet behind there. So, let's walk out through the master bath by the great room. Now, well, once again, we're, see, okay, let me stand back here. So, standing at the kitchen island. Okay. Because I was kind of upset over the height of the cars that would be able to look in here. But I guess it's not as bad as I'm thinking. I just don't want nobody looking straight in here. And then, you know, we'll also have blinds or whatever we're going to put on the windows. You know, we also still want to have it open for some light. But then again, you know, we can measure things out. And this is the backyard. Backyard. As you can hear, when you're in the back, higher the wall, the less noise you have. It's not crazy, but you know, less noise the better, that's for sure. And right now it is 12:34 in the afternoon so it's, I guess it's not bad this is the side of the house I'm basically standing right now at the property line right here show you how much space we have you know once again this is the full backyard and let me walk to the other side of the house. Now on the other side of the house, they have some of the, what is that called? Uh, the stuff that, that stuff on the ground there, that's the stuff that they put into the walls. Keep the sound down, keep the heat in and the cold in or cold out or whatever. Cold in and cold out, depending on the situation so yeah like I said on both sides of the house we have nobody that wants to lot yet and look at this this is what you call a tumbleweed y'all if y'all ain't never seen a tumbleweed this is a tumbleweed meaning completely dead, dried out, 
good wind will blow that baby and have it rolling. So yeah, this is our home. This is the stage we're in now. We got maybe a 60 day countdown, they said, until it's done. They just put this wall up next to these houses. They're getting ready to paint the house. They started doing some painting here. It's the neighborhood. So yeah, so thanks for watching guys. I'll keep you posted on upcoming things. And this is just showing you like the process of homes being built, how things are being done. Hopefully they can help you guys for the future that don't know and haven't purchased a home. So thanks for watching. And I'll holler at you. I'm out. What up, y'all? Yeah, before we go, let's see if I can break in. Let's see if I can break into one or two of these houses real quick. Shall you join me? Let's go open this one. Mine, that's mine. That's mine right there. Let's go in this one here that they did some painting and they're almost done doing things. I don't know. Well, this is a two-story. Oh, they got the gray cabinets. See, this is how they do the island. This is what you see up on mine right here. But they add this extra stuff in here. I can't wait for this phase to happen. And let me show you our closed-in backyard. This is the backyard closed-in already. two-story house. The house next door got the lights on. Let's all see what can what we can see there. You want to go upstairs for this house? All right, let's go upstairs. Let's see what's popping over here. I'm tired from working upstairs already. You know, a little quick, little peeky peek. Laundry room. This must be the master. Yeah, this is the master. Their master closet. Their vanities. Their tub. Shower. Their view from the second floor. I know for one thing, I hope that when and if we get neighbors that they don't have a true story so they can't be looking down into our windows or anything. <clears throat> They're getting ready to put the driveway. So let's see. This one next door has the cemented driveway and walkway. This one's pretty much ready to go. This one is 
just needs to be fully painted and then they're done. I'm guessing. What up, y'all? Yeah. They in, man. They at that phase right now. When I get to this phase, a brother gonna be real happy because that means it's only a moment, a moment or two until you in there. Another bedroom. Bathroom. Look at this. Look at this. They got the fan on. I'm, I'm Look at it. I don't know what I just pushed, y'all. Got the fan on up there. I was trying to turn the fan off. But oh well. This house is in there. Look at this, y'all. You see what I'm saying? This is how they put it together. Let me bend down from the chandelier. Because the boy will hit his head up in that piece. Look at this. Nice. Look at the floor. See? Now you know you got a home when you're at this phase. Master bed. You know, they got a little bit more work to do, but... You figure in the next three weeks, they should be done. Full walk-in shower. I don't like the way that's designed, but, oh, I like this part too. You got the little separation of the walk-in closets here. His and her side. It's pretty cute. The vanities are separate. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna put a tub right there. I think they are. Very interesting. Yeah, y'all, so I just wanted to just wanted to show y'all extra little highlight, you know. You know how your boy does. Look at this. Look at this nice open room. Look how beautiful that is. See this one I'm talking about. Yo, much success to everybody in 2020 and on.